हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर दत्तू पटेल फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अर्लियर लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पीस वाइज कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन दैट इज डिपेंड्स ऑन डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम एलिमेंटरी फंक्शंस दैट इज डिपेंड्स ऑन डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड in this in today's lecture that elementary formulas elementary functions functions formula we use in the whole chapter in each and every examples let's start first one is laplace of 1 that is 1 upon s where where s greater than 0 first form By definition of Laplace transform, the Laplace of f of t equal to integral zero to infinite e raised to minus s t f of t dt. Here function f of t that is one Laplace of one that is one upon s. We must be remember this formula. Then here f of t replaced as a one and zero to infinite. Here e raised to minus s t into one dt. The integral of e raised to minus s t that is e raised to minus s t upon minus s zero to infinite upper limit minus lower limit. We already discuss about e raised to minus infinity. Then we get zero. Then zero minus e raised to zero by minus s. Then e raised to zero that is one and one upon s where s greater than Zero. Second elementary function that is Laplace of e raised to a t one upon s minus a, where s greater than a. The first form by definition of Laplace transform Laplace of f of t equal to integral zero to infinite e raised to minus s t f of t dt. Here function that is exponential e raised to a t. Then substitute this value as a f of t. Then integral zero to infinite e raised to minus s t into e raised to a t d t. Then in this equation, v our product form base is same. Then x into x square. Then we get x cube means addition of power. Then here we can say that here t which is common and minus n which is common, then we can write s minus n then into dt. The integral of this term then we get minus s minus a into t upon minus s minus a. Here limit that is zero to infinite. Then upper limit minus lower limit. Then e raised to minus infinite that is zero. e raised to zero that is one upon minus s minus a then minus minus plus then we get s minus a where s greater than a Similarly, next one is e raised to minus a t. Then Laplace of e raised to minus a t that is one upon s plus a. Here s greater than minus a. If here negative sign, then here positive. If here positive sign. Then here negative where s greater than a where a is any constant value where a is two three four five six seven eight and so on whatever corollary Laplace of c is two a t how we can find where c is 
here c is any constant term means c equal to 3 4 5 etc maybe 100 there uh, we will find for laplace transform c raised to 80 then we convert into in terms of logarithm means e raised to log 2 then we can write as a 2 then here c raised to 80 then e raised to log c raised to 80 and according to the properties of logarithm here we write laplace of e raised to 80 into log c then according to this we can say that e raised to a log c into d and e raised to 80 this term that is constant then laplace of e raised to 80 1 upon s minus a log c where s greater than a log c maybe suppose for example laplace of 100 raised to t then we can say that 1 upon s minus a here c raised to 80 then a that is 1 means only log 100 c that is 100 clear Next one corollary is Laplace of cos hyperbolic AD equal to S upon S square minus A square. Similarly, Laplace of sin hyperbolic AD equal to A upon S square minus A square. Then, first of all, basic trigonometric formula then we already know about cos hyperbolic at equal to e raised to at plus e raised to minus at by 2 similarly sin hyperbolic at equal to e raised to at minus e raised to minus at divided by 2 that is the basic trigonometric function for hyperbolic to exponential relation between hyperbolic function to exponential function then in this two formula we can find n hyperbolic at we can find sec hyperbolic at cosec sec tan cot etc now laplace of cos hyperbolic at equal to laplace of e raised to at plus e raised to minus at by 2 here one half common and according to the linearity property, we give the individual Laplace of e raised to 80 plus individual Laplace of e raised to minus 80. Then, according to the definition, according to the sub elementary function of e raised to 80, which is already proved in few minutes ago, then that is Laplace 1 upon s minus a. And that is Laplace 1 upon S plus A. Then taking LCM both side, S plus A plus S minus A, A, A that is cancel out. Here A minus B then S square minus B square. S plus S, 2S, 2, 2 cancel. Then S upon S square minus A square where S greater than more A. Similarly, here we use Laplace of e raised to 80 minus e raised to minus 80 by 2 here laplace of sin 80 then one half laplace of e raised to 80 that is 1 upon s minus a here 1 upon s plus a then cross multiply this term then s plus a minus s plus a here ss which is cancel out a minus b a plus b then s square minus a square then one half here 2a then s square minus a square 2 2 which is cancel out then a upon 
S square minus A square. Next elementary formula is cos AD, then that is S upon S square plus A square. In this formula, first by definition of Laplace transform, that is Laplace of f of t equal to 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f of t dt then here function that is cos at then e raised to minus st into cos at dt then here integral of e raised to ax cos bx dx that is e raised to ax upon a square plus b square a cos bx minus plus b sin bx then in this formula here a equal to minus s and b equal to a substitute this value in this formula then we get e raised to minus st upon s square plus a square a cos a t plus b sin a t here 0 to infinite then e raised to minus infinite 0 0 into anything 0 minus e raised to 0 1 upon s square plus s square cos 0 1 sin 0 0 here minus minus plus that is s upon s square plus s square similarly you can find Laplace of sin at equal to a upon s square minus s square sorry s square plus a square for finding this similarly this method here replace cos as a sign then formula is we can use e raised to x into sin bx dx then here e raised to x upon s square plus b square a sin bx minus b cos bx. We can use this formula at here and simplify this term, then we get this answer where s greater than mod a. Next elementary function that is Laplace of t raised to n that is gamma n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1 and n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1. First one in, in this formula we have two formula. Then if n is fractional then we use gamma function formula means fraction means in terms of p by q form for example 3 by 2 5 by 2 etc if n is a integer value means 2 3 4 5 etc then we use second one formula so first of all by definition of laplace transform Then Laplace of t raised to n equal to integral 0 to infinite e raised to minus st f of t means t raised to n dt. Here first of all st equal to uv 
assume that S D T equal to D U, then D T equal to D U by S. Here T equal to U by S. Here in terms of T, then when T equal to zero, we get U equal to zero. Substitute the value T equal to zero, then U equal to zero. Then if we substitute T equal to infinite, then we get U equal to infinite. Substitute this value in this equation. This one also, this one also, and this one, and we get. Then the plus of t raised to n equal to here integral zero to infinity limit, which is same as e raised to minus u. Here t means u by s raised to n. Here dt dt means the u by s. Then here s raised to n into one. Then we can say that s raised to n plus one. Integral zero to infinite e raised to minus u u raised to n into du. Then we solve this term with the help of definition of gamma function. Then gamma function is integral zero to infinite e raised to minus u u raised to minus n minus one. That is the definition of gamma. And here integral zero to infinite e raised to minus u u raised to n minus one du and properties of gamma function that is n plus one equal to n factorial another property that is gamma n plus one equal to n gamma n and gamma one half equal to root pi these are the properties of gamma function and first one that is the definition of gamma. Function. We require this property to solve the examples. Then this equation convert in terms of definition of gamma function. Then here one upon s raised to plus n plus one as it is integral derivative which is same as zero to infinite e raised to minus u as it is here we require n minus one. Here we have only n. Then n plus one. And minus one. Then compare this term to this equation. E raised to minus u, u raised to n minus one. Then whatever the term which is above the minus one, that is our gamma function gamma n. Then here above the minus one, that is n plus one. Then by definition of gamma function, that is n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. That is a symbol of gamma function. That is not a square square root. That is just symbol this time. As well as this n plus one, you can write both this one also, this one also. That is a symbol of gamma function, not a square root. Some of the students write as a square root. That's the hundred percent wrong. And according to the properties of gamma function. Here, gamma n plus one equal to we can write n factorial. Then n factorial upon s raised to n plus one. If we have n is a fractional value, means p by q form, then we use gamma n plus one upon s raised to n plus one. And if we have n is a integer term, then we use second formula n factorial upon s raised to n plus one. These are the some basic elementary formulas. We use these only eight, seven to eight formulas to solve the examples. If you have any doubts, then feel free contact me. Thank you so much for listening me.